Today we're going to be showing you how you can get popular on YouTube. So, first you want to go to... The link in the description. By the way, i got to copy this. So go to the link in the description, and you want to go to where it says New Kid on the Block. Which this is a nice little thing I've set up in Social Blade, so you guys can see all the goals I've achieved. So you want to click on where it says New Kid on the Block, and then it's going to say Grow Your Audience. No, this is not type of sub bot inside social bot. It's called YouTube education. So it's going to say YouTube 101 Social Blade EDU course. So you're going to be sent into a course. And you want to click on where it says start YouTube 101. So it's going to put you through a course, and you want to beat this course. If you beat this course, do all the things that the course has taught you, then you're going to be able to grow your channel to a thousand subscribers. So there's going to be a little video. You want to click on that. Click the clock. And then you be... It's a 19 second long video. So now it's a 19 second video saying watch these videos and stuff and nobody really cares about that. So now once you've done that, click next episode. Now we're going through a whole YouTube course. So it says, decide how often you're going to upload videos. Don't sacrifice quality for quantity. Because quantity is basically where you're not doing quality and like you're clickbaiting, you're doing it, you, you're just clickbaiting. Quality is where you're doing nice YouTube videos. You're putting effort into the YouTube videos. Quality, you're not putting effort into the YouTube videos. You're just basically doing clickbait. Decide how often you're going to upload your videos, which I'd say you should definitely upload once a day, twice a day, three times a day, or once a week. You don't want to be uploading once a month or once a year because you will not grow your YouTube channel because it's going to give a lot of people, it's not going to let a lot of people know, like, it's not going to, you're going to lose subscribers basically because you're not uploading constantly. You need to upload a lot because if you upload once a year and then someone comes back, it's and not a year has passed and they want to come see your new video, but you still only have that one video you posted, which is probably your channel stuff. So here, now you just want to click on the video right here, and then this is going to be the second video of YouTube 101.
So yeah, I upload like like two times or three times a day. I upload like almost once a day. So I upload several times a day. So yep. So just tell your subscribers how much you're gonna upload like two times a day, three times a day, once a week, once a month, once a year. So once that's over, they're gonna come back, check your YouTube channels for a good quality video next episode. So you wanna click on next episode, you do not want to click previous episode. can knock out three or four videos at once. So basically, make three or four videos at once, then do it. Now, I make hundreds of videos at once. I'm making videos every single day, and some of those videos that I'll make are not uploaded until tomorrow. So yeah, now you want to click on the little video. Bada bing, bada boom. So now it tells you about scheduled uploads, which you want to use scheduled uploads on a few of your videos. If you can't exactly get the video out today, like right this instant, then click scheduled. Then you can get it out tomorrow or in a week. So yeah, pretty cool with how YouTube walks about this stuff and... Getting your videos out there and staying consistent and co and constantly uploading your videos. Now you just want to click next episode. You get the trick here. So now we're just going to read this. I'm reading it out loud because I'm an amazing reader. Like I can read all Stein's books. They just give me goosebumps. So, but I almost just press every single key on my computer with this. There's no need to have a fancy camera, guys. Your iPhone will do just fine. And sure, you're filming horizontally, like how I'm recording. Like, don't film like like your phone like this. Film like your phone like this. Not like this. Like this. But if you have a laptop, you can record with a laptop, or you can record with a computer. There's a cam app in the computer, which is pretty usable, I'd say so. I use the camera app on my laptop, it's pretty usable. Yeah. Make sure your video is stable. Use a tripod or something to stand your recording device on Use lots of light, use lamps, overhead lights, or even better, the sunshine. Which, the sun is not shining right now, I usually use the sunshine, and then there's a light over there, and then there's a light right there, I'm going to turn on the light right there, like this. Now you see how better the video actually looks, without the light, right on. Now you see how it looks. Perfect. Now I have a light over there, a light over there, 
which is the sunshine. Sometimes I will call it at the night where there's no sunshine and I just use that light. And sometimes, and sometimes that ceiling fan, I have a ceiling fan. So now you just want to click the YouTube video, which all the YouTube videos are going to get longer. It went from 19 seconds to, I believe, like 21 seconds to 59 seconds. Now this is going to be over a minute. Yep, over a minute, a minute and 18 seconds. The video is just lagging. That's why I use my little laptop and I keep it still. So you have a light over there, which you can still see my face and like, yes, my short and my hair and everything. Now that you've done that, there's 23 videos. There's actually 23 videos. Next episode is going to be... Audio quality control. Now you can have a mic. You don't exactly need a mic. I have a good mic for my gaming videos. There's a good mic built into my computer, I think. I think it's a pretty good mic. That's why I don't use my mic. I can use my mic if I want to. But I use my mic for podcasts and ASMR. So yeah we're gonna read this too we're gonna read all 23 of them remember guys this is a long long video so you guys are in for a long video i you guys knew this was gonna be a long one because you guys need all the tips you can get from youtube professionals like social blade so that's why i leave the link in the description but if you guys just want to listen to the audio in the background which is not too good then listen to it and see what they're trying to say and then listen to my reading right here so yeah you can just listen to all of those things instead of going on social blade but i recommend going on to social blade we're only five out of 23 <laughs> I didn't think of this out as math, but this is, you don't need math to be a YouTuber. You don't need to know any math. <laughs> Consistency is important here too. Make sure your mic stays about the same distance from your mouth. So like, don't go way too far away from your mic like this. Can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still hear me? At all times, keep the volume level consistent across all your videos. Control background music does not overwhelm your viewers and distract them. Control background noises are kept to a minimum. 
So the minimum of background noises is one hour. You want to make sure background noises does not last more than an hour, like like raging going on in the background. Make sure that does not go on for about an hour. Or all your viewers are just gonna leave. So yeah. So now you want to click on the little video. Yes, I'm gonna keep the little check. Now you want ten of them. You don't want to do all twenty-three of them. I'm using the same volume all the time. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's why I have my little background music. That's why I have my background music like very low. So here's the next one you want to be sure about, how to become popular, becoming popular. So this is probably, you want to do 10 of these little courses. So this is becoming popular, getting rich and making millions, but that's not what I do on YouTube. I just do YouTube videos to entertain people. Because watching YouTube videos entertained me when I was like really young, and now that I'm doing YouTube videos, and entertaining other people is insane. So this video is 43 seconds long. And it just won't load. So you can just click this little YouTube button. You can watch on YouTube.com. So just be yourself. This is myself. I'm not even lying. This is myself. Like all I do all day is just sit at a computer, watch YouTube videos, and that's what I do when I'm sitting at the computer in my YouTube videos. Yeah. So now right here you want to click next episode. We only have a few more episodes to come. So this is how long does it take. I've been doing YouTube for about two years now. And still, my channel is doing pretty good. So yeah.
So basically that just said don't give up and you'll succeed. Make sure you never, ever set a way too high goal that you will not achieve right now, but you will achieve in the future. Like, don't set it for a million. Just set it for a hundred. That's my goal is a hundred, and I'm at 89 right now. So that's pretty close to a hundred, I'd say. So now you want to click next episode. Now you forgot to read this. We're going to read that next. We don't have to keep reading that. We can just keep going through. But I'm going to read it next because I like reading. Interesting. Oh, sorry, guys. I was just reading. Um, keep intros to about five seconds milia mi maximum. Tease content force to get to audience invested in that piece of content, then roll to the intro. Now, I don't have a YouTube video intro. But I will add a hundred subscribers guaranteed. Yeah, do some YouTube videos with your intro and do some without your intro. Keep your intros to about five seconds maximum. And yeah. Make sure you put out make sure you put out what's gonna happen in the video so they can see so your viewers will be interested in to keep watching so the wanna know like oh my god, okay, I wanna see what happens after that. Cause that's exactly what I do when I watch YouTube. And they tease the intro. I'm like, wow, I really want to know what happens after that. So a good keep watching, definitely. So now let's click next episode. When should I monetize? So you can only monetize when you reach a uh, thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, which uh, I did not achieve that goal yet. But once you monetize, you can start making money from YouTube. So here's the tenth one, which we are going to have to sort this up. So you want custom thumbnails, which I do not put a lot of, but I'm starting to put more of. Here we go. We want to read this. Make it bright. Kick up the contrast to draw viewers' eyes. Use large fonts. Remember, the viewers are seeing these on small phone screens, too. Be constant in design. Consistent. It's constant. 
And it shows the best resource. Now guys, link in the description for my thumbnail maker. My thumbnail maker is really reliable. My thumbnail maker is really reliable. It's the best thumbnail maker ever. So link in the description to it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Goodbye.